to another video about some pretty random PC stuff. Only this time it won't be that random at all. And that's because today's video came from a viewer, specifically Joseph Petrick. He wanted to test the performance between a 16x PCIe slot and a 4x one. And uh, Eric Brits said that he would like to see it. So I said that I would order a 16x extension cable and test it. And this will be pretty interesting for me because I answered a comment earlier saying that the 1050 didn't need 16x performance. So I'm really nervous about checking this out to see just how wrong I was. And also I promised to make a video where I got it. To make this video I needed a PCIe 16x extension cable and I needed a small form factor computer again because I don't have access to the one that I used to have at work anymore. So I bought a used one, and it ended up being a Dell Optiplex 7040 with an i5-6600 CPU. And it also has the perfect slot config for this video. And I really hope that I can sell this computer when I'm done with this video because it was quite expensive to buy and I don't need it. With all the parts acquired I began my testing with Valley Benchmark, and there wasn't too much of a difference between them. In fact there was only one FPS separating them, and about 40 points. And this could easily just be randomness from each run. My second test however showed just how much of a difference there can be. In performance test it got about 1300 points less, which is about a 28% difference. And that's a big difference. But we'll see how this compares into games later on. User benchmark is next to useless in my opinion, and it only showed 0.4% of a difference. And that is that. I only benchmarked two games this time around, and those two games were Dirt 4 and CSGO. Both games showed similar results in the benchmarks, they had noticeably lower average, but nothing that you would notice when playing the games. Dirt 4 was just as playable without the extension cable as with it. There was only 6 FPS differentiating them on average. And uh, I did get more maximum FPS without the adapter, and I don't know how that came to be, but Gameplay felt equal between the two. CSGO was more of the same. There was only 4 FPS between them on average, and that's nothing that you'll notice when you have 170 FPS. So it was just as playable without the adapter. And this is where I can theorize some more. I do not recommend using the 4x slot on anything higher than a 1050. I think that's where getting away with it ends. And if you can find a small form factor system with a 16x slot, I would choose that over the 4x slot, of course. And that is all I have for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. The next video will be about the GTX 690, which is the last dual GPU that I have at the moment, so subscribe if you want to see that. And as always, have a nice day, or night, or whatever you have where you are at right now.